Hey what's up guys Zakshay from AS Learning and today in this video we'll be seeing how to use MongoDB's vector search okay how to do our functionalities of vector querying and storing our embeddings in MongoDB okay up till now we have seen it in Pinecone and other vector databases like uh, Qdrint internal databases like Fez, Fez Chroma okay and uh, MongoDB is renowned for its uh, unstructured uh, storage of data in the form of collections, documents, okay. And they have also provided the support for vector searches, okay. So we'll be seeing how to store our embeddings into the existing setup of MongoDB and get our tasks of vector search done using it, okay. So here, for example, uh, as you can see that here I am on the cloud environment of MongoDB, that is MongoDB Atlas. You can come here just by doing a simple MongoDB Atlas search, okay? And here I've created my first database deployment, okay? You just need to create, you just need to click on create and create a cluster, okay? You can select whichever cloud provider you want, I generally go for Google Cloud, okay. Then I select my region. I generally go for Mumbai because it is closest to my home, okay. And then you can uh, select the cluster tier setup, uh, whichever you want, okay. I'll just say if you are into learning, then there's no point in uh, going for a paid setup. On production, you can go for a paid setup, but for learning purposes, you can just use a shared cluster. Okay, it's free. It's free to use. Okay. Now we'll go back to our uh, MongoDB and uh, here I have my cluster. Okay. Now let me go to my database. Okay. Here I'll be seeing my cluster zero. Okay. So here you, uh, you can see that in Atlas searches, you can see that you have two search indexes. So these were two, uh, two of the search indexes which I created, okay? Uh, MongoDB also provides you the functionality of doing a simple keyword based searches on document, okay? And you can also do a vector search also here, okay? So both of those searches will come into this uh, Atlas search section only, okay? So what we'll be doing is now because we have our cluster set up, what we'll be doing is we will be getting or maybe creating a collection, okay, which contains the embeddings, okay, and then we'll be seeing how to set up the index and how to do our vector search operation, okay. So what is collection, okay, collection is nothing but similar to relational tables in our structured, our uh, are relational databases okay think of them like tables okay in collection we have documents the way we have rows into tables okay so uh, let me first show you the two indexes which i created okay one of them was a normal a normal index which was uh, i it didn't contain any embedding stored in this one i have my embedding stored okay so uh, what we'll be doing is we will be having our embeddings into our collection okay and we will be creating an index for that collection okay and later on we will be doing our vector search operation on that field on that embedding field okay so let me do it from scratch okay here i'm creating i clicked on search index okay now in this search index before creating a search index let me show you the collection on which i'm doing it okay Okay, so uh, this is the sample data sets which come with MongoDB. Okay, you are into sample mflix and into embedded movies. So we can see that uh, this is my object and here, if we see here, uh, no, I clicked on movies. I want to go to embedded movies. Hmm, let it load. Uh, yeah, into your we want huh, here we can see plot embedding. Okay, 
so this is the embedding vector data associated with that movie okay now from where this embedding data will come think of this like that let's say this is a certain movie okay this is a plot here okay this is a certain plot okay and that plot has been converted into vector using any embedding model okay you can use the popular uh, text embedding ada 002 of open ai or you can use any other free source model also like the one of sentence transformer okay so yeah you can use any of the model to convert them into your respective vector okay and you can store them in the form of any field okay so here in this collection i have my vector in the form of plot embedding and my vector okay in in data sets where you now this is a sample data set okay but let's say you have you, you don't have a sample data set okay you have let's say uh your own data set which is not into mongo yet okay so what you can do is maybe you have some certain fields okay some certain fields associated with that let's say that text file okay they can be in the form of key value pairs the entire text file just use a uh, text embedding model okay maybe uh, add r2 of open ai and convert them into vector and there will be a field okay embedding colon that entire vector okay so this is what my index is okay now what i'll be doing is i'll be creating an index with respect to this collection okay so here i go into my search okay and here I'll be creating a new index. Okay. So for creating a new index, I'll be going into JSON editor where I will be setting my index definition. Okay. Now what this is, what is mappings dynamic, we'll be seeing this. Okay. Now here what I want is because I have my embeddings in sample mflix embedded movies. So I'm selecting my collection in case where you have your own uh, own data set in raw format just push the entire thing into collections into mongodb and then create an index for it okay now here i'll be giving my index a name let's say today's date is 11 so 11 11 mflix okay and here i want to set some parameters i sorry i want to set a definition for an index okay so what I'll be doing is this was a default definition of mappings dynamic is equal to true. Okay. I want a definition which will be helpful for me for vector search operations. Okay. So this is a definition which I am setting up. Okay. For each data set, it will be for each collection. It will be different. Okay. Because here I have plot embedding field and a generous field. Hence it is in this format okay when you have some other embedding uh, other embedding field whatever uh, key value you have just replace the plot embedding with that embedding key value and if let's say if you want to uh, put some any uh, any other uh, field also into the index uh, definition you can put it here okay now what this is let's just try to understand okay so here we have mappings we have dynamic true and we have fields here okay so mappings is uh, uh, just a thing that all this mapping will be applied to each of the field okay so um, so whatever mapping we have it will be applied to every field we have kept it dynamic so it means that let's say if any, any any document contains some another field which is not there mentioned in the mapping it will be taken care of okay now this plot embedding we have kept it as a type of a knn vector so it means that whenever we will be doing a query on the vector it will be finding the nearest vector to that query vector okay just we do k nearest algorithm in that way okay and we have the similarity kept as euclidean so the nearest vector will be searched by euclidean distance okay here the dimension has been kept as 1536 it depends on the embedding uh, which is present in the collection okay uh, this is some uh, another field as a uh, uh, genus we have kept the type as token and the normalizer is lowercase we are just low uh, we are just uh, lower casing the entire uh, genus field 
and uh, we have kept it the type as token because later on it will be tokenized okay now this is my index definition okay which i have set for my uh, for my sample mflix collection okay sorry my sample mflix data sets embedded movies collection okay now what we'll be doing is uh, let me go to next okay and uh, once we have the index definition set let me create the index so it will take some time okay uh, let me close it as you can see here that it is currently not started the index field here is dynamic whatever space it will occupy it will come into primary node and how many of the documents are indexed we will be getting a number here okay so let's wait okay till the time it comes yeah so as we can see that we have uh, some updation here we have view status details it is still not started let me do a refresh ha huh. yeah so now it is entirely active okay so my uh, index name here is 11 underscore 11 underscore mflix okay and now what i'll be doing here is i'll be creating a query okay yeah so these are all the documents uh, which i have okay now what i can do is i can do a simple search query also like a simple keyword search query also let's say if i do a simple keyword search query as a uh, lot of money so let's say what the results do i get it will be returning me some set of results so as you can see i'm getting a lot of money above and i also have some other results okay which are closest to this one okay now next what we need to see is now we have we have the index in place okay we have uh, we have our index definition in place which uh, which which gives us the ability to do vector search operation now what we need to do is how to perform the vector search operation okay so here instead of using the dollar search aggregation pipeline we will be using dollar vector search ag uh, aggregation pipeline okay so instead of this let me reset it okay and once i reset it let me copy the vector search syntax here okay now here because my index is different i'll be just changing the name 1111_mflix okay so let's try to understand this what is this and how okay so here we have used dollar vector search aggregation pipeline okay we will be taking help of this for doing our vector search queries okay here i am giving my index name as index name the path is nothing but the field on which the vector search operation will perform here it is plot embedding and what filters we need to apply this is similar to the metadata filtering which we have seen in pine cone okay and here i have uh, the and operation that i want this condition and also this condition here here it is greater than this and less than this then it should be not in and in okay and this is my query vector okay and the number of candidates here 100 means that it will look for the 100 neighbors okay for coming up with the closest vector and the limit here kept is 10 so it will be returning me the 10 best results for that query vector okay now let me do a search operation and once i do a search operation i should get my top 10 results okay so this is how you can do vector search operation in mongodb okay so let's break down this thing like let's say if i have a certain certain pdf file okay i have 10 pages of pdf file so how to use mongodb then the first step would be we need to push the 
10 PDF files into MongoDB collection. Okay, we need we will what we'll be doing is we will be vectorizing the content in the uh, PDF file. Okay, it will take a field and the embedding field and that vector. Okay, if you want to have some other fields also, let's say name, date. Okay, you uh, you can have those fields also. Okay, in this way, now I have my embeddings and my fields inside the collection. Later, what I, I'll be doing is I'll be creating an index, I'll be setting an index definition, I'll be assigning proper index uh, parameters, whether I want k and vector, distance Euclidean, or I want a, a cosine distance and, and the similar vector type with it, okay? Do you want to add some normalizers or tokenization? That thing can also be kept there, okay? Now, once we have the index definition in place, we need to uh, create an index and finally do a dollar vector search aggregation pipeline operation on it okay you, you can do a metadata filtering straight away here okay and you can set these parameters also how many results do you want and and how many closest uh, closest vectors should it go for okay so in this way you can use mongodb for your vector operations okay yeah so yeah this is what i had in this video uh, if you learn anything new uh, do give it a thumbs up uh, share it with your friends and stay tuned to AS for more such amazing tech stuff. Take care. Peace out.